Hillary in full panic mode after what just came out about Vegas shooter, this is bad. On Sunday night, deranged lunatic Stephen Paddock murdered 58 people and injured over 500 when he opened fire on a country music festival in Las Vegas. While the country is still trying to process the horrific event, the left is already politicizing the attack and pushing for gun control. Two-time failed presidential candidate Hillary Clinton was one of those politicians that jumped on the gun control bandwagon. Clinton immediately went into attack mode blaming the NRA for tragic shooting, but little did she know she was way off base. Hillary Clinton has a long history of attack the NRA, and it always blows up in her face. For instance, shortly after the Las Vegas shooting Clinton attacked the NRA on Twitter to push her twisted political agenda. It appears that Clinton is under the distinct impression that the NRA was culpable for this attack and that Paddock was a member. Oh, but Clinton is very wrong with her assertion and should take back her words. In fact, Paddock was not a member of the NRA at all and for Clinton to be harping on the NRA is absolutely absurd. Now, let's talk about the gun that Paddock used to commit this disgusting crime. It was a weapon that has already banned so what would she suggest be done? Ban it again? At any rate, this is how the left works and that will never change. These liberals are intent on disarming the American people to exact control over the population. Over the last couple of years, the left has been doing their best to disarm the public and have even called for the NRA to be labeled a terrorist organization. Here is just a sampling of those on the left calling for members of the NRA to be labeled as terrorists. Now. This isn't the first time that those on the left had tried to demonize the NRA as a terrorist group. As mentioned previously, for years the left has been trying to label the NRA as such without much success. Back in 2015, just a couple days after a gunman opened fire on the Umpqua Community College campus in Oregon did the liberals call for the NRA to deem a terrorist group. Here is an excerpt from the Breitbart article just a couple years back. On October 3, two days after a gunman killed 10 at the gun-free facilities on the Umpqua Community College campus the New York Daily News called for the U.S. State Department to designate the National Rifle Association NRA, a terrorist organization. They based this request on their belief that national security faces a greater threat from armed citizens than from foreign terrorists, and they singled out the NRA as the bulwark preserving citizens' right to keep and bear arms. They suggested, the NRA should take its rightful place on the State Department list of terrorist organizations because its influence is more of an immediate threat to the lives of our citizens than foreign terrorists. To be on the State Department's list of designated terror organizations a group has to be state-sponsored for terrorism which the NRA is not. Moreover, they do not exist for terrorist reasons. Rather, they exist to defend the civil liberties protected by the Second Amendment. Undaunted by these things, the NIDN simply declares the NRA a terrorist group and suggests it falls under the State Department's purview by being nearly state-sponsored. The NIDN added, although the NRA is not an officially state-sponsored organization it is the supporter of the state with its massive member and lobbyist donations to our elected officials. They remind readers that murdered Americans killed by dot lunatic gunslingers include terrified children calling for their mothers teachers begging for the lives of their students, students begging for not just their own lives but the lives of their classmates, moviegoers looking for escape, bystanders cheering for athletes, athletes trying to be the best they can be as the worst we ever could have imagined struck them down in cold blood. Hillary Clinton is struggling to stay relevant and what better way to do that than by latching on to a tragedy to push her political agenda. Those on the left have no respect for those who died and were injured for them to use this tragedy to lecture the American people on their rights. It is our God-given right to arm ourselves with whatever weapon we choose in order to defend ourselves and our families, which is why our Founding Fathers wrote the Second Amendment in the first place. The left desires a disarmed population to control the masses, and we cannot allow that to happen. Yes. What happened in Las Vegas was an absolute tragedy, and there are more questions about it than answers, but we cannot fall into fear and give up our rights. Right.